Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Today we are going to have a new comedy. Uh, a person who called people croc and he is bully. He said, why Christian Prince don't show up his face? Maybe he's in sex registry. And uh, I don't want to forget to answer to say, you know, my friend, I never even have a driving ticket. But your prophet, if he come to USA, he is for sure in the sex registry. And if you dare to follow your private step, you will be arrested immediately for child molestation, sex trafficking, and child abuse and rape. So don't talk about that, coward. Now, this guy, he posted a video yesterday. And actually, I don't really care for his videos. He just said he's stupid. And this guy, he said he want to debate me, but only face to face. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is the only excuse I see from Muslims face to face. Uh, so if I do face to face, you will. I'm sure you will change your mind. And, uh, you know, all of them, they share one thing. They want to debate me face to face. I mean, I don't know if people, they care for the face thing or for the answers. Here we go. You are online. And even when you speak to people in the street, you post it online, which means your publicity is not in the street. It is online. Coward. Now let us see what this chicken, who chicken to debate me, he reminded me of al Alabani. Once I went to his chat room, and the coward, he said, I am not a debater. Potato. Too bad he died. So now today he is going to prove to you that he did not lie. And let us see for how long that will hold. Muslims, invite your sheikh and let us do some shaky stuff, because you will die laughing at this idiot. Listen. We want honest Christians, Muslims, Jews, atheists, Hindus, and everybody else to see exactly what happened. We're putting the whole thing out there. Yeah, don't forget to put the whole thing where you did give a five to David Wood, the one who ate the Quran. And don't forget to put there that you said to Anthony and to David, bro, when the Quran forbid you from taking the Christians and the Jews even as a friends, and even your own family, if they are your parents or your brother or sisters. So when you call them bra, you were a true Muslim, honest Muslim, or practicing taqiyya because you are a coward living in USA. Since when a person who ate the Quran is your bra? The video is there. And we can play it. Just, we can bump fists. No, no, no. I got you, bro. Don't feel offended. No, no, no. All right. It's going well. So do you remember where we're at? Yes, I do. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. So. The, <laughs> the... And then he gave a fist to, to, uh, to David Wood. <laughs> you are a sheik. And you called that guy, bro. And you are a trustworthy. If we go to the stupid Quran, the yellow pages of Muhammad, what we will find? We will find the following. Bro, just to show everybody that you are an idiot of the village. You are you are willing to compromise because you are a you are you are a Taliban compromise. Allahu Akbar. Let us see. Hmm. Oh. Now for sure he will say that this Quran is weak. I assure you. I mean, the Quran is weak, Hadith is weak, Islam is weak, Muhammad is weak, and this is why Muhammad, he needed protection, because everything is weak in this religion, what you can do. Chapter 5, verse number 51 says, Take not Christians and Jews as a friends, for they are friends of each other. And whoever among them, take them for a friend, then surely he is one of them. You left Islam, my friend? Did you decide to leave Islam? I want you to explain to the Muhammadan how in the world you call Anthony, and by the way, the one who would do edit my video later, go please to their video and take the part where he hit the hand of uh, uh, David Wood and the hand of uh, Anthony, uh, Anton and uh, put it in the video so people will die laughing. I mean, what kind of a hypocrite you are? You cannot even maintain your religion when you are trying to support it to defend your religion. So you call the one who is insulting Allah, saying Muhammad a false prophet, he is a perverted man, and you say to him, bro, are you going to call me bro too? I cannot wait to hear that. Potato. 
You were scared of them? What you will say to the Muslims? You were scared they will beat you up or what? Why you call them bro? Now let us go to the video. Because there's more fun is waiting. We did not start yet. No, we did not. Hey bro. Hey Christian Prince, we are brother brother. Now what he will say, he will say, oh, they are brother in humanity. <laughs> hey David, you are his brother in humanity, okay? You ate the Quran as a human, and now you are his brother in humanity, and you are a bro. And actually, the Quran make it even more clear that even, even your own family, you cannot have them as a friend. You will not even love them. You should hate them. Your own family, your parents, your children, your mother, you will not, the Quran make it clear. You will not find a single person who will be loving, friendly, befriend to those who act opposition to Allah. Chapter 58, verse number 22. I mean, how clear we can make it. Do you think David Wood and Anthony is acting in the oppositions of Allah? No, brother, they are brother. Hey, give me your hand, fist, okay? Give me a five. Okay, it's Corona time, otherwise I will give you a hug, brother. <laughs> hey, Takiya boy, how are you? Uh, you're going to say to the Muslims, I'm playing Takiya, you know, I live in America, otherwise they will give me a big, 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 uh, you know, you know, uh, you know. I think the camera urine advice is not working. You shall not find a people who believe in Allah and the later they befriend those who act in opposition to Allah. I want you to answer me in the video for sure you will ignore it because you are a coward, you are a chicken. You actually not, you are not a chicken. A chicken is useful. You are not even a duck. Potato. I was debating this to this. What if I debate me face to face, you will you call me bro? Hello? Even if they are your fathers, even if they are your sons, even if they are your brothers from your blood, you don't call them bro. You don't even befriend them. You don't call them my friend. And you are the one who want to defend Islam. Good luck with that. I like you. I like you, I like you, I like you. Let us go there to the video, shall we? Okay, tell us more. I'm really excited to hear how you did refute them, brother. Hey, people, aren't you excited? Okay, bro, refute us. We are listening. We're not snipping anything out. We're not putting the whole thing out, right? Okay, what do you mean? Why you are not snipping anything off? You know, like, oh, okay, hold on, hold on. Are you sure? I don't know what to say. He is not going to snip anything off. Are you saying that we Muslims, we used to do that, but today we changed? I promise you this time. <laughs> <laughs> is that what the Muslim did when they say that the Christian prince he said to a Muslim woman suckle me when in fact the women she accused Jesus that he was doing sexual thing with his mother and you Muslim you snip it off and you said look Christian prince saying panty Christian prince saying to the women suckle me hey by the way Regarding suckle me stuff, don't take me wrong. I mean, men, they like suckling. And <clears throat> as long you are expert in the hadith, when your prophet, he order women to do the suckle me business, which is a very fantastic business, I think you can make a lot of money from it. I mean, let us face it. I mean, you have suckle me choice and suckle me opportunity. 
and you know like you can open a drive through Sakalmi business in Las Vegas you know like there's fast food there is I mean you name it so what we do you know we can do Sakalmi stuff and then you know like uh, we uh, you know good income I think it's a good opportunity I don't know you tell me and actually I remember that there is a person uh, his name is uh, <clears throat> Mimi he uh, he posted uh, uh, a tweet uh, I'm trying to find it actually uh, he said suckle me can I suckle your wife he said that to a shake like you honestly he said that to a shake like you can I suck your wife tits he said okay so you know when uh, when when a muslim he come to us and say i'm not going to snip anything he is admitting that he is a snipper and he is admitting that he lie and he is admitting that he always do that but today i promise you i'm not going to do it okay from now on uh, like in this video i'm not going to snip anything let us go continue to us so thank you for promising us not to be a, a person who edit videos like the Muslims do uh, because it was your sister saying the second me business and I was saying to her what your prophet said and then uh, Mimi Hijab he learned from me and he started saying to every Muslim woman he see in the street when I am not saying it to women in the street the woman she called me and she was very filthy and she said uh, Jesus was doing something with his mother I can play the video for you do you want me to play the video for you? Or you are going to snip it and split it and cut it and deal with it? Eh. You know, you are a good Muslim and a good Muslim do what good Muslim do. Continue. <clears throat> What's interesting is these guys, they came with like tons of cameras and cameramen all over the place. But they're putting little clip bits out. They don't want to put the whole conversation. They are traveling, you idiot. Just wait. They will put it for you. Just wait. People laugh. Yeah, you know, they're funny. And by the way, they come to you a day before. They are looking for you, you potato. And you spend, you, you call this as a debate. You spend the time talking about, uh, do you know what Elmul Kalam? Like, what? Do you know what Elmul Kalam? And when. Anthony, he said to you, it's philosophy. You said to him, <laughs> like what? <laughs> you are wrong. You do not know, don't you? You idiot donkey. Sorry for insulting donkeys. Is it this is your scholar saying that Elmul Kalam is philosophy? Oh, you know what? I think you know better than him. I mean, you are higher. I mean, come on. Look, first, I will prove you that he is higher than you. His beard is longer than your beard. And he lives in Saudi Arabia, so he do not need to compromise. Hey, Sheikh, what is Al-Mul Kalam? Uh, Anthony Roger, he said it is philosophy. What say you? I can feel Bukhari when you did that. He worked with Al-Mul Kalam and he wrote the book and the book. Al-Mul Kalam is a book of philosophy. علم الكلام مقدمة مقدمات فلسفية. It is nothing but a philosophy introduction. So when you idiot you say to Anthony Roger, who is not a Muslim, he don't speak Arabic, and he do not should not have even a knowledge about it. I mean, this is not his field. And you say to him, you laugh at him, and you say to him, <laughs> I know this is coming. You don't speak Hebrew and you don't speak Arabic, and Elijah is God with us. <laughs> Muslim scholar agree that this is why it's called the Elmul Kalam, you idiot, which means the science of using words, philosophy. Stupid idiot. Anything don't agree with the brain, they don't agree with it. Which means they are smarter than you. Like when your prophet he says in the heaven you will do Dahman Dahman. You will go for that later. It's approved by Alabani, by the way. Dahman Dahman. <laughs> if hard, if hard. 
Continue. I wonder why. I wonder why they're ashamed to show what happened. I know. But anyway, we're putting the whole thing out. So you can judge yourself which belief makes sense or doesn't believe make sense. And exactly. that, that's up to the people. When we have the Islamic Aqidah, we presented it. They have their belief. You know, one plus one plus You know, like one plus one plus one. I agree with you. I mean, Islam makes sense. If you believe in Allah, Allah will increase your size of your penis. And because size does matter, and Allah is Akbar, as you know. And the word Akbar in Arabic does not mean greater, it means bigger in size. Sometimes it can be about age, and sometimes it can be about something else. Hmm. So, it makes sense. If you believe in this God, this God will give you endless penis, and a lot of virgin waiting for you. And brother, nobody touched their vagina, brother. They are brand new, and the wax is there. And you will cut... The you know, you know, Allahu Akbar makes sense, brother. And not only that, the Quran promised us women with big boobs. You know, like we have to admit, I mean, this is the religion makes sense because which religion it should make sense more than a religion promise me a cup of wine and next to it, big boobs, brother. Are they round or square? You know what? I mean, I'm sick of seeing around ones. Like, especially when I practice suckling business following the prophet teaching. You know what I'm saying? Talk, um, come on, you know the thing? I mean, Joe Biden, he know it. So are we going to have round breast or we will have a square breast? I'm wondering about the shape, by the way. And how big the nipples? Are they going to be one mile the same as the size of the wife ass? May Allah ask you? You want to bully me? Get ready. I don't bully you. I will humiliate your God and your Prophet as in return. Continue, Abdul. And keep your hand like this. You, you, you look like a magician. Like, what the heck? What are you doing? Oh, you know what? You just remind me now. The Prophet, he was suffering from black magic. Hey, by the way, is that a Da'if Hadith? I think it's Da'if. Because it is in Al-Bukhari. Brother, look like the seven ajwa, which your prophet, he said, if you eat it, it's not working. Maybe he need to take eight since then. Hmm? I mean, what is that, man? Even your prophet, he imagined himself that he had something done and he did not? Is that what you think? That you have a victory? In fact, you've been humiliated? Like what the heck with this religion? Uh, hold on, hold on. And not only that, the prophet, he imagined himself having sex. Having what sex? In fact, he did not do that. Why? Because the black magic controlled him. I mean, this religion makes sense. He's a prophet of God, sent by God, protected by God. And then a guy, he's a Jewish guy, he took some hair from his ass. May Allah bless his ass for sure. Sallu ala nabi ya rajul. You know, Allahumma salli ala, you know, prophet bum and, you know, and he's the hair of his bum. And may Allah bless it. So the blessed bum of the prophet, somebody take hair from it. And then he put some like voodoo, like shuraku kaku kashu kaku. And then the prophet was under the control of the Jew. What the Jew was doing to him? Do you think he like he make him doing bad stuff? I mean, this guy he lost his mind. Ah, no wonder. You imagine you were able to refute them. You imagine you can answer us. Yeah, now you can put your hand down. Come on, don't do black magic on us. Hey, by the way, as long as black magic is uh, approved in Islam, and uh, why you don't join the school of Holy Potter, which is established by Allah? If we go in the Quran, I know, you know, I don't know if you know Harut and Marut, you know. Hey Harut, how are you? Let me let me open the Baal and Harut will come. Chapter 2, verse 102, it says that there is a person, he's an angel of Allah, his name is Harut. And an angel, his name, his name is Marut. Okay. And then Allah, he sent them to the Babylon Tower and they open a school to teach magic. I mean, let us people see and judge which religion make more sense. Hey, Harut, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm sent by Allah. Uh, what about uh, Marut? Brother Tutar, 
I am the end of Marut. And I'm told by Allah to open a school. This is a Kanaic voice, man. What's wrong about what happened to you? First of all, I am not the Kanaic. And the Kanaic is copying me. Okay, but Allah, he sent you to open a school in the Babylon Tower. And why he used the Babylon? Christopher, first you are stupid. Show me your faith. Then I will answer you. Okay, is that because the Babylon Tower is the highest at that time? And according to Muhammad, he thought this is where the angels came down. So he said, okay, Harut and Marut, they came in the Babylon Tower because there's a ladder there. And this is the only way for them to get down. Christopher, show me your faith. I send you faith to faith. Is it, was it Harut, Marut, what's wrong with you guys? What's your topic now? They make the, the, is it a debate about my face or the debate about the Harut and Marut store? Christian Prince, if you are a man, show me your faith. Why you are having your faith? Maybe they are in sector of the three? Ah, sector of the three. And later we find the Muslim story saying that Harut and Marut, they have sex with two with a woman. Her name is Venus. <coughs> And the funny, this guy, he said when he was talking to uh, uh, Anthony, he said, when the Greek mythology start crawling down, the Greek word. So Harut and Marut sent down by Allah, and they have sex with a woman, her name is Az Zahra, which means Venus in the Greek language. And when they slept with him, they gave her the password to go to the Babylon Tower. <laughs> and then Allah, he cursed her and he made her a star. <laughs> you are a superstar. You are a Venus of the world today, my friend. I gave you that title. Go ahead. Plus one, plus soul, and plus body, and this and that. One, whoever you want to follow. What I found distasteful, and, and it's unfortunate because I thought we were having an honest conversation, mm. is what they did. They made a little video on their way home. I guess it was a long, sad drive. Like when you lose a soccer match, and you're sitting together mm. on the way back after losing a match. And they, they put this thing about Osman got caught lying. Now, let's be honest. I mean, the, the issue was a hadith. And, and I want you guys to understand what happened. They claimed there was a hadith in a Tirmidhi. Jami'a Tirmidhi is a book of hadith written by Abu Isa Tirmidhi that said that the Quran will come on the Day of Judgment in the form of a pale man and intercede for its reciter. Now, the hadith, I told them, and this was, again, I wasn't prepared for this. I was just there and they brought this up. They had looked it up, whatever. I had not. They brought it up. But at that time, because I've taught hadith and I have a master's degree in hadith, I knew that hadith is not in Tirmidhi. And I told them this is not authentic hadith and this is not in a Tirmidhi. Uh-oh. It's not in Tirmidhi. Okay, continue. I will make a comment about that and then people will die laughing at you. And you'll see them in the video on their phones, they're trying to find it, and they cannot because it's not in a Tirmidhi. They were lying. This is a lie. Maybe they did it out of me. Uh, maybe it's a mistake. Oh, no, they are lying, my friend. Lying. First of all, Abdul, does it really make a difference if it's a Tirmidhi? I mean, all your books is garbage. And you yourself, you just admit it. You just said it's life. Which means you are saying to us that it doesn't matter what book. Our book is boo-boo. Boo-boo? I cannot use the word shit in... YouTube, that's not right. Let us say it. So our books are a piece of shit. So it doesn't matter where you find it. We have a lot of shit there. That's what you are saying to them, you coward. It is you witnessing to us and now making a video to us to say to us, our books is full of shit about the prophet shit. And now we are going to delete it and we will say it is weak shit. Excuse my <clears throat> shitty conversation. But you forced me to say it. I mean, people don't dare to say the word, right? Say it as it is. Who like it, like it, don't like it, get lost. You are making a video for us to say to us that our books is a trust, not a trustworthy. We Muslims, we lie about our prophet and that makes sense. We Muslim, we lie even about our prophet. Can you believe it that this coward, he is even saying that the second they say we are, this is wrong, this is not true, this is a false, this is the if he is saying that we Muslims and our scholars are a bunch of liars. And this little Abdul, you will prove it in a minute. Listen carefully. Please guys, don't use it in the chat. I'm allowed to use it because I have a license. I have a degree in Quran, in Islam, brother. That mean, yeah, I have a degree in that thing, 
You know the thing. Mistake. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. It was a mistake. Uh -huh. But it's not an activity. <coughs> they both. Yeah, just shut up, stupid idiot. I mean, obviously, you do not know what are you talking about. I mean, I don't know what to say to you. I mean, what's wrong with you? Here we go. You are a potato, son of a potato. And Abi Huraira, and the Nabi sallallahu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, by the way, sallam, don't forget to sallam. Yaji al Qur'an yawm al Qiyama fa yaqul ya Rabbu hillahu. Etc. I read the rest. So, and the, the Quran will come in the day of judgment, right? Right? Here, at Turmudi did not mention the word man. He mentioned that the Quran will come and he will be a lawyer to you and he will defend you. And this is what they are saying, that that at Turmudi which means he mentioned part of the Hadith. And this is the reference. You are a donkey and you are an idiot. Qala Rasulullahi yajiu al-Qur'an yawm al-Qiyama karrajul shahib The Prophet of Allah, he said, the Quran, he come to you as a pale man and the rest of the hadith. And then read with me. Abdul, potato. Do you see it? The Turmudi have part of it. The Turmudi did not mention all of it. So who is the one is sure? And you are the one who claim that you have knowledge of Islam? Yeah, hello. And by the way, uh, hold on, no, no. Leave that for the coming. Give the guy a break. Uh, tell us more, go ahead. So the first one you are bragging about, we got you busted with it. Obviously, you Muslims are very confused and your books is really, and look how many books are around you. You know, actually, the, the books you have around you uh, remind me of something. <clears throat> First of all, let us look at the video. All those books behind him, maybe, I think all of them, they are about hadith. But do you know that their prophet forbid them from writing hadith? And this is sahih. Read with me. The prophet of Allah said, don't take down anything from me. And he who took it down anything, which means he write it down, from me except the Quran, he should efface it. <laughs> The guy, he just told you, don't write the hadith. And if you ever wrote any hadith about me, from me, erase it. What do you do? You write, the prophet said, don't write hadith about me. And if you write, erase it. <laughs> the guy, he just said to you, don't write in the wall. And you write in the wall, the prophet, he just said, don't write on the wall. Who is the idiot? And this is Sahih Muslim. Are you going to say this is weak? Ah, that's Daif. It's Daif, brother. It is Daif. We are the religion of Daif. Anything is embarrassing is Daif. And look how many book of hadith around him. And the Prophet, he forbid them from writing one hadith. Period. You are genius. Prophet Muhammad, you have a genius follower here. Said it is. Here, you can hear it. That's that's in a termedia hadith. That's that's in a termedia hadith. I know it's in termedia, but first I know it's in termedia, but first. Uthman asked us to show that to him. I simply mentioned that it's found in termedia, and he said, "Where?" I found this kind of uh, humorous because every time I hear Muslims cite hadith, they simply say it's in Bukhari, it's in Muslim, it's you know so forth. But he wanted us to give him the exact number and so forth. However, David was standing right there next to me. And he pulled up a version of the hadith that's found in Ibn Majah. And I actually hadn't even seen that one before. I was familiar with the one in Termini. Now, 
Both of them claim there was an atirmidhi. We got you busted in this one. I, I, I'm challenging them. Um, I, I have a atirmidhi here. Oh, okay. they, they can get it. Find the hadith that you claim is an atirmidhi mm. and a atirmidhi, and it's not there. So, so you're uh, so you. not telling the truth. <laughs> it's okay. I give them the benefit. That was a mistake. But what happens is, then they claim that I was lying, or I got caught lying, because I told them that this hadith had da'af. It was weak. Now, this is where I really want their viewers to pay attention. This is their academic standard. They can't claim as if they have this knowledge, Sam thinks he knows Islam and Anthony and David. They don't know. They're Google scholars. This is, this is the extent of their knowledge is Googling. That's what they were doing, Googling the Hadith. They don't, so you see these books, this is what we study. Can you show us the books? I cannot wait. And now he will show you the book, which he'll prove him right. Show us the book. I have a master's degree in hadith. So master. what they did, they googled a random site, and when they found a site that said they mentioned the hadith, even though they admitted that was an Ibn Majah, they were wrong about it being in a Tirmidhi. They were like, oh, it's Hassan, it's reliable, and you said it's Zaif. Not understanding the science. I have a mass, I do takhrij work here, right? I check hadith. Now that hadith that they mentioned from Ibn Majah, you see the video, he says from Ibn Majah. Here it is on your screen. Here it is in your screen. Look at the coward. What he posted in the screen, he did not post the book of Ibn Majah. Zoom in. Potato, liar, fraud. This is not the book of the Hadith. This is a book written by Al Alabani, a guy he just died a few years ago. It's called Da'ifu Sunani Ibn Majah. Why you don't show us Ibn Majah book where it says it is Da'if? So what you are trying to say that someone here wrote a book about the Hadith of Ibn Majah in 1995 or 6 and he said that is, uh, this Hadith is Da'if. And look what he showed us in the screen. Da'if. Do you know why he cut it off? Because he is a coward and he is a dummy. He thinks that nobody knows Arabic. And he is going to speak only to David Wood and Sam Shamoon and Anthony Roger. They don't speak Arabic. Where is the rest? Potato. This is what it says in this book, which means even in this book you were not honest and you are a coward. This is the book of al Bani, and I'm zooming in so people, they can read it in the screen. And there is more details about this hadith, you cut it off. Why? Because it says, and let us see what it says, why I want to talk about it. Let us go there. <laughs> Coward, potato, dummy. Let us see. Let me open the reference. Give me a second. Oh boy. Oh, mommy. Oh, mommy, mommy blue. Oh, mommy blue. <laughs> All right. I want every Muslim who is listening to check the reference we are going to show on the screen. Hold on. Where is the reference? Uh -huh. Let us see. <sighs> mm. Sorry, you know, like I don't really prepare myself to go but we will find it. Just wait, give me a minute. Yeah, here we go. This is the book 
which he is coating for us this potato. And this is what he coated for us in the corner. That's part only. Daif two eight six, sorry eight two six, and this is exactly what is here in Arabic. Eight two six daif. So here it says daif, here it says daif. The numbers are the same, but he cut off the rest of the hadith, where the hadith says yahtamilu tahsin. And it is possible to be accepted as good. Right next to it. Coward. And as long you accepted the book of Al Alabani to prove your point, now you cannot say, I don't accept Al Alabani. Is that fair, guys? People, is that fair? If I use, if I am a Muslim, and I use a reference of someone to prove you wrong, that means I am considering this person my top scholar. He is the one who will prove who is right, who is wrong. So by accepting him, you cannot say no more that this hadith is weak. And listen, you donkey. This is Al Alabani. In the book of the, the book name, Al Silsul Al Sahiha Al Alabani, volume number seven, published not by Dar es Salaam, as you said. And by the way, you stupid idiot, you said in this is Dar es Salaam. Dar es Salaam, they publish Al Alabani too. Donkey. They are just a publisher. They are not. A, a, Dar es Salaam is not a sheikh. He said to them, Dar es Salaam. Dar es Salaam, they are quoting Al Alabani, you idiot. Sometimes they put the name there of the scholar, or sometimes if there's too many scholars, they don't put the names. Read with me. So this is the, 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 the authentic chain. The book of who? Muhammad Nasr al-Din al-Alabani. The Zucchini guy. Hadith number 2829. Sahih. Sahih. Should I shout lower more? What he said about it? يجيء القرآن يوم القيامة كالرجل الشاحب يقول لصاحبه هل لصاحبه هل تعرفني؟ The Quran will come in the judgment day as a pale man and he will say to him Do you know me? So now you Abdul as long you agree that the one who can judge between us and you is Al-Alabani who Al-Alabani is saying it's صحيح you want to say to me in different book, he says it is weak? Well, if he is a stupid, this is your business. He changes mind. This is why he's saying in the in the in the chapter, in the in the in the cut. By the way, is that like a fatty shop or something? Ooh. What? So now by accepting Al Alabani, which in the same hadith he is saying it is possible to, uh, to make it Hassan. And later the idiot he changed his mind and he considered Sahih. And you know, here we go, let us post the link for everybody. So whoever a Muslim is watching, you tell me the guy he accepted Al Alabani. I go with it, no problem. Here we go. This is Al Alabani. Every Muslim in the chat, please open the link. Check it out. Read by yourself. You can use Google Translation. Does it say that this is from the this this book have only the authentic hadith? As this is why it's called as Silsila Sahiha, the chain of authenticity. Authenticity. And now I'm going to use Google Translation. Peace be upon him to show you that. <clears throat> Somebody's asking uh, where it says that the term they have some of it, where, where we can find that. My friend, you can go to uh, uh, Al Haythami 
or you can go yeah you can go to Majma' with Zawaid uh, where he said وَقُلْتُ رَوَتْتُرْ مُذِي بَعْضَهُ you know actually we can show it to you hold on as long as you mention the question hmm, here we go Majma' with Zawaid Al-Haythami value number 7 page number 160 and the Turmudi reported some of this hadith, not all of it. This guy, he denied it's not exist there. And you can click and you can read the rest. But now, let us go and do a translation for this page. And be my witness, he is the one who chose Al-Alabani to be the judge for the truth. He cannot take it back now. It's not me who chose Al-Alabani. You see, the, the city, this guy, Okay, let's see, this guy is saying he's honest. Why he didn't say Alabani, he said in one place, it is da'if and it's possible to be Hassan, which means good. And then Alabani himself, he have in different book where he says, or in different, different place, that it is Sahih. Why you aren't being honest? And why you choose one, let us say for the sake of argument, both of them are exist, which is very weird and very stupid. But it is Islam, what you can say. Translate to English. Al-Silsila Sahih Al-Alabani This is the name of the book This is the name of the author Muhammad Nasir al-Din al-Alabani The publisher is Library of Knowledge Reda A lot of knowledge Variant number 7 or book number 7 Hadith number 2829 Let us zoom in In the numbers do you see it? Two eight, two nine. What does it say? The Quran will come in the day of a resurrection as a pale man. Bingo. So it is Sahih in the book of Al Albani, and it's not totally daif in the book of Al Albani, the other place. And this is why you cut it off. Because you don't want to show the rest. And not only that. You know, I watch uh, I watch TV. Islamic TV. It's really my entertainment. And there is a TV station. It's called Iqra. Very famous TV station from Saudi Arabia. 24 hours, 7 days a week. Quran. Quran. I mean, you give you a headache. And Hadith. The Prophet said. Guess what? In al Quran, yalqa sahibahu yom al Qiyama. Hina yanshaku anhu al Qabrahu karajul al Shahib. And what they say in the bomb of the Hadith? Rawahu Ahmed wa Hassanahu al Alabani. It's reported by Imam Ahmed. <laughs> and this is the one you said you follow him. Howard in the video, you said the humble is the true one, and the Alabani considered Hassan. And this is what this is your of the biggest Islamic TV in the world. Iqra. And as long you mention humble, and you said in your video which you said you will not cut it off. This is Ibn Hanbal reporting the hadith. But now we are in deep trouble if we are Muslims. Why? Why we are in deep trouble? Ibn Hanbal, which is your, is your master, and you say, everybody can go watch the video. He says, Ibn Hanbal, this is the true way of Islam following the Prophet. So Ibn Hanbal is not a joke to say he's lying. Ibn Hanbal, not only he said that the Quran will come as a pale man, and this is the hate in front of you. Not only he said that the man come, the Quran come as a pale man, now we have more bad problem. The Quran come like a chicken, and it's not one Quran no more. Read with me. 
تعلموا سورة البقرة وآل عمران فإنهما الزهراوان يضلان صاحبهما في يوم القيامة كأنهما عمامتان أو غيتان أو فرقان من طير صواف Okay, what does that mean? Let us go to the Muslim English translation. I will copy the hadith in front of me. And remember, you said you accept Al Alabani. So we cannot take that back. Oh boy. This is the hadith in English. The Prophet said, the Prophet, who? The Prophet who have no prophecy, except the Roman will be the majority of the people of the world. Yeah, I mean, Italy is the biggest now. I mean, what is the size of Indonesia next to Italy? C come on. Italy, like, they are 10 billion now. Yeah. So, the Prophet said, the messenger of Allah, he said, recite the Quran and the resurrection is going to intercede for those who recite for it. Okay, and then he says, and uh, uh, the shining one, read the two shining one, the chapter of Al-Baqarah and Ali Umran. That's wonderful. For one day, or for on the day of resurrection, they will come as two clouds or two shades. or two flocks of birds in ranks. So now we try to avoid having the Quran coming as a man. Now the Quran is coming as two chickens or as two cloud. And they are not Quran, one Quran no more because birds. And guess what? Alabani, he said, Sahih. Uh-oh. Are you kidding me? Alabani, he said it is Sahih? Yes, brother. So now, not only you proved that the Quran will come as a man, and Ibn Hanbal, he agree, and Alabani agree, and he made it Sahih, and even in the page you reported it's Da'if, it says it's possible to be Hassan. Now we reported that Alabani again confirming that in the day of resurrection, the Quran will come as two cloud or two chickens or a bunch of chickens. By the way, is it chicken or maybe ducks? So now you try to avoid and you are trying to be a hero in front of the Muslims by calling the Christian bro, by giving the fist to David Wood who ate the Quran and to Anthony Roger who is supposedly the enemy of Allah and the Quran in chapter 58 forbid you from doing that. And chapter 51, chapter 5 verse 51. Being a hypocrite, oh, I want to, I want to look cool, you know, in the video, in YouTube. Give me your fist. <laughs> hey, give me your fist. Hey, uh, uh, brother, do you like to give me uh, your fist now? Give me a five. Am I doing a good job? Do you approve me? Hey, come on, you have to admit, I'm doing better than, the, uh, even the, I mean, come on. Can you give me five? What do you think? Who deserves more five? Me or David Wood or Anthony Roger? Because you give five to both of them, and I feel jealous now. I mean, the blessing of your five, my friend. Coward. So now look what happened. This idiot, instead of showing us the book where it says it's Da'if, he show us a book of someone else, Alabani. And he hide the rest of it, where it says it is possible to be Hassan. And then he did not mention to us that in the book of Al-Alabani, the authentic hadith says it clearly that this is authentic. And this is the reference. And we post the link for you. Chapter, or let's say this is according to the what page here? 7130 and hadith number, the most important here is the hadith number, 2829. And it says here the Quran will come as a pale man in the day of judgment. And we showed you, and he himself he mentioned that the way of Al Hanbali is the right way. And we showed you that Ibn Hanbal 
he himself, he agree with it. And he is the one who quote in his hadith that the Quran will come as folk of birds or as a pale man, as you see in front of you. He mentioned both in one report. And actually we can do this in the front of everybody. So we will take it to Google again. Let us do this. So everybody will see that because you don't know Arabic, I understand. Here we go. And this is here, the Muslim website, Islamic Archive, Al Hadith al Sharif. And I heard him saying, Learn the Bakara. It took a blessing, blah, blah, blah. This is a, you know, a Google translation. All right. All right. So it's going to come in the judgment day like a, 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 you know, a, a bunch of uh, uh, birds. The translation is not coming too much good, you know. Yeah, so it's going to come like birds or like cloud. And in the day of resurrection, this Quran will come as a male who look weird. And actually here I want to ask myself why he is coming as a pale man. And here I want to ask myself, this guy in his video, he said that the Quran was always with Allah. Always. The understanding that you are bringing is, is not where I'm at, but we're going to put that to a side and, and just go to, let, let me finish again, man, no, this no, guy, my finger, I got you. Okay. Let me, let let me give me. you, let me give it to you. Let, let me tell you, let me, let me speak and you'll know what I mean. Okay. When you say something is one and you say they're compartmentalized, they're taken up parts, right? It, it comes to an understanding, something that becomes like Legos, right? Something that, that can come apart and put back together, right? Allah is one. His characteristics are with him, always been with him, always will be with him. He can reveal, oh, you're smiling already. Look at that, right? He can reveal a part of his kalam, for example, the Quran, mm -hmm. but the Quran is always with him. You understand? Like if you take what's... Did you see? Did you hear saying the Quran is always with him? Did he say that? So how the Quran is always with him and the Quran will come to you as a chicken or as a pale man. The Quran is always with him. So what came to Muhammad? Are we talking about different Quran? Is the Quran something physical? Obviously it is. Because he just said the Quran is always with him, not with anyone else. Listen carefully, it is not me who said that. The Quran is always with him. So the Quran is not really a word. Arts, right? It, it comes to an understanding, something that becomes like Legos, right? Something that, that can come apart and put back together, right? Allah is one. His characteristics are with him, always been with him, always will be with him. He can reveal, oh, you're smiling already. Look at that, right? <laughs> we are he smiling too. He can reveal too. a part of his kalam, for example, the Quran, mm -hmm. but the Quran is always with him. You understand? Like, if you take what's written, that is not the part of the kalam. That can be burnt. That can be. See, if you take something is written, it's not part of the kalam of Allah. Did you hear it? So when Muhammad, he says the Quran will come to you. He's not talking about something is written. He's talking about something with Allah. And guess what? What is with Allah is a physical Quran. Because now it is clear for us that the word of God is not a word we hear. Is not a word we write, is not the word we see, it is something with Allah. And that thing is non created, not created, and exists by itself. And now we have, and it's holy. So now we have two divine, and both of them they have no soul. Allah have no spirit. Many Christians do not know that. He's like a piece of concrete. He have a leg. He have two hands in the right side, which is very funny. He have a face. He have five fingers. 
you have a shin, but you have no spirit, which means you have no life inside him. The Quran is the same. The Quran is the same as Allah. The Quran changed his shape. We just heard this guy saying that he agree with al -Abani. He agree with Ibn Hanbal. And both they agree that the Quran has a shape, either as a man or as a bird. And we show you the reference where it says it is Sahih. Do you see it? And this is Al-Albani, the Sheikh he chose to judge between the one who is telling a lie and the one who is telling a truth. So the Quran which with Allah is a something. It is not metaphorical. It is not words. It is something physical. That's why he said it's always with Allah. And it's not what is written. It's not what we memorize. That is not the Quran. Shall I play the video again for the ones, the Muslims who say they are not understanding? And there's a Muslim, he said in the chat there, he says, uh, uh, Uthman, he agree, even if you wear a mask. You see, they see the, you see the excuse. So if I wear a mask, still he is willing to debate me. Well, I'm wearing my mask already. <laughs> you see the stupidity? Those are just an excuse for a coward to run. The one who put conditions about how to make a debate, obviously he don't want to debate. Uh, if you uh, admit me, come to faith to faith and wear a mask, okay? You uh, know I'm not going to do that. So he's saying to you, you know what? I'm going to throw this to you as like a like a bone because you are a puppy asking like for do something to Christian Prince, do something. So he want to stop the Muslims who is a, they are harassing him, saying, can't you refute a Christian Prince? Can't you debate him? So what he say? The same as the rest. All of them they say the same. All of them they run away. We will debate you if you come to face to face. Yeah, Osman, accept. Uh, uh, my friend, I accept to debate him anytime. He's a coward. He's son of Muta'a. And I will tell you why son of Muta'a. He is enjoying the money of deception. I'm not talking about Muta'a of sex as Muhammad now. He is enjoying the Muta'a of deception and making money from deception. And we prove it. And now he will cut my video, say as a Christian prince, say whatever. Say whatever. And by the way, is Muta approved by Alabani? The hadith of the Muta. Guess what? He does approve it. <laughs> you know, I like Alabani, by the way. Too bad I could not debate him. The coward he was like you. He is not a debater. Here's what he said in his chat room. So you do muta, thinking that you are making victory over those Christians, but the fact there is many people here, they are willing to bust you with no mercy. With no mercy. Should we have mercy? For all those cowards, they're saying they want to debate me face to face. I will not even move my toes from my place to debate someone like you. I'm not putting conditions, but I'm not willing to go anywhere. Here. I am sitting right now. I have 1,500, 1,500 people watching. Go into a chat room or, you know, go into a place where a, a table, there's five people. Why don't we do that? Here we go. Can we get a crowd better than this? And nobody's fighting, nobody beating anyone. Everybody is fine. 1,500 people. And they say to you, come in public. Aren't you coming in YouTube because you are seeking the public? In your boost, you get five, six people talking to you. Here, you get thousands of people seeing you. So this is just an excuse. Excuse of a coward. Is it? Hmm. Uh... Let us see. Is my internet is doing good, guys? Give me a second, please. <clears throat> I 
actually there is more reference I want to show but maybe because I, I, I wanted to keep this video shorter as much as I can but sometimes mission is impossible now when he mentioned to us he put this in the screen let us put it again he said this is Ibn Majah and he said this is Daif the first thing I said to myself there is no such a thing in Ibn Majah the hadith is 826 so I went to Ibn Majah you see, I, did, I, I never, never trust what they show you in the screen. Like, even though I speak Arabic, but the book is not clear. And I was looking in my phone. So I went to Ibn Majah, and this is hadith number 826. I have nothing to do with the topic we are talking about. And then I said to myself, uh oh, let me look again, let me zoom more. And then I found that this idiot is showing us a book written about that book and the guy who wrote this book is a guy who just died a few years ago so if we listen to you based on your statement that this hadith was sahih for the last 14 centuries and just 10 years ago a guy he said it is not and then 10 years after the guy he said it is correct because it's what he said he agreed that this hadith is sahih And here we want to ask people for a very simple question. Why the Muslims have been suffering from such a confusion in their cult? I mean, why this is Sahih, not Sahih? The Muslims, they say to us that Islam is preserved. Is it? Islam is what Muhammad said. This is why they call themselves Sunni. They don't call themselves Qurani. They call themselves Sunni, which means they have to have a preserved Hadith. But those Muslims saying, that the hadith is not preserved and not only that when they showed him the hadith from Ibn Majah he said oh this is Darus Salam well what does that mean he means that he don't accept Darus Salam but they are Sunni so now we have many Sunnis and everyone give us his grade as he wish this is what he's saying this is a cowardly behavior unresponsible in the same time, very confusing for anyone who want to follow such a cult because now how a normal person can know the truth? If the same scholar he say it is Da'if and then the same scholar he say it is Sahih. The same donkey, it's not even different donkey. I'm not even showing you a different person. And by the way, I can show you Al-Qurtubi. Al Qurtubi he mentioned it and he said it's a Sahih. What we would do with this religion? Why everybody is giving us his own garbage? Look at this. This is a book written about this hadith or hadith which must some some they say it is weak. Who is the donkey is talking? Give me his name. Do you know his name? If you know his name, you, you, you will have a hump in your back. And then what he said? And this is, and this is Isnad, or this is, that's, like it's authentic according to the condition of Muslim. And uh, Al Bashir bin Muhajir fi Sahihi mentioned there. And Al Hakim mentioned it too and ag agree it is Sahih. And Al Dhahabi and Al Haythami and Ahmad and Urijalahu Rijalu Sahih. <laughs> Who's left? Those are your top scholars saying it is true. What kind of religion? It's based in what the Prophet said more than what the God said. And then we find that what the Prophet said, they, the followers themselves, 
are beating each other up about what is true and what is not. And remember, we are not talking about different sect. This guy, he said he is a Hanbali or he approve, approve Imam Hanbal, as we show, he showed us in his video. And he said, this is the true way of Islam. And we showed you Ibn Hanbal say clearly, he agreed with the Hadith. And he added even that the Quran will come like chicken or too cloud. And even he agreed that the Quran will come as a man. So what we would do with this religion? Who is the one is telling the truth? Can we consider this religion to be a religion? Why does God, he have a million statement about his prophet and how people, they can fabricate stories then? Isn't it Islam protected by Allah? If the sunnah of the prophet, this is what they call him, I don't call him, is demolished and full of lies. And the Muslim, they say that was. The Muslims, they say that to us. And then they write books to correct books. Can you believe it? As an example, this uh, Al-Abani, Al one of his stupid things he said, which the Muslim, this guy, you know, he's from Afghanistan, Pakistan, I'm not sure. He follow and he approve. There's a hadith about a woman, her name is Asma. She came to Muhammad and Muhammad, he said to her, don't you know that when a woman, she became older, obviously she became seven years old, maybe. So he said to her, don't you know that you have to cover everything except this and this? And he pointed his finger at her, at his face and his hands, which means all the burqa of the Islamic religion is false. And this is approved by Alabani. So obviously, if you ask this guy, do you approve what this guy he said? He would say, no, I don't approve. Hmm. So do you like a woman to wear burqa or the burqa is false? Right? Is it false or not? So my friends, Always Muslim, Muslims, they claim victory. But when they claim victory, we discover other victory behind it for us. So today, we found out that al Alabani he agreed that the Quran will come as birds. So the Quran is not always with Allah, as this guy, he said. And the Quran is not word of God, as he said. And the Quran is a transformer. He go into incarnation, not as he said. And the Quran, not one Quran, because here the hadith in front of us says, two flocks of birds, God knows how many, hundred thousands, we don't know. And this is Sahih. And let me post the reference for everybody. So they will not say, where is the proof? As he said to them. And even their Islamic TV say it is correct hadith. Even their Islamic TV. And they play music for you about it. Look, if you play it, very nice music, brother. They cannot, the, the music is haram. The music is haram. Al Arba'una fi fi what? Let us see what it says here. Man, the 40 hadith 
the most important 40 hadith which is glorify the Quran number one what is number one الحديث الحادي والعشرون عن بريدة الأسلمي رضي الله عنه عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم أنه قال إن القرآن يلقى صاحبه يوم القيامة حين ينشق عنه قبره كالرجل الشاحب كالرجل الشاحب Did you hear it, Abdul? Hey, Abdul, did you hear it? They are not only putting it in TV, they are playing holy music behind it. Hazar uh, Sahib, I almost going to cry, my friend. So for you, you make fun of it. For them, they praise it. What's wrong with this religion? Which one of you is telling the truth? And look how, if you listen to this, my friend, you will think you are in the presence of the holy God, Muhammad. And his mature wife. الرجل الشاحب. Like what? الرجل الشاحب. Say it again. شاحب. Like what? No way. Don't say it again. الرجل what? فيقول له. Like what? هل تعرفني؟ يقول له. جل الشاحب. 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 بس بين ستاك. جل الشاحب. Like what? So this is a weak hadith. It's a piece of garbage. And you put it in Islamic TV in Saudi Arabia and teaching all the Muslims around the world that this is the most amazing hadith about the Quran. And it is a piece of garbage. Who is truly the piece of garbage here? Boy, oh boy. All right, everybody. I want to make it shorter as I can. Leave your comment. And for the Muslims, look, 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 look at the comment of the Muslim. They will say to you, your God is... Oh, hold on, hold on, before we go. There's a Muslim, he said, Hey, Christian, did your God dive into a vagina? And by the way, this is what this guy, he said in the video. He said, so you are saying to us uh, that your God, he came of a vagina? Uh, Abdul, isn't your Quran says فيه, speaking about Mary vagina? So it's not okay for our God to be born from a woman. She is the best of man, woman, woman in the world, even according to the Quran. It's not okay that Jesus is born and he is God and yet he is a man and is born of a woman because obviously that will make him dirty, right? As if you are saying that your God can get dirty, that means he is not God, for God is always holy. This is what the Muslims believe. If you ask them, is God Allah is in the bathroom, they will say, no way, brother. Why? Because Allah, he have a phobia and he get dirty so easy. When the light of the sun come down in the swamp, who is going to win, the bacteria or the sun? Who is going to clear the water or make it more dirty? The sun? or the bacteria the sun and this is if the sun can do that how about god so you muslims you have a wrong understanding if you stupid god your god is not god he cannot go anywhere he you know i have a phobia with this god he cannot be there in the same time we go to the quran we find that allah he blew into mary vagina and the muslim they try to defend that they say no 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 he blew into uh uh, her uh, sleeves where it says the word sleeves why the Quran don't say the word sleeves where it says sleeves and look at even the first translation they say she guarded her chastity where is the word chastity anybody can show it to me I want to see the word chastity it says ahsanat farajaha She guarded her vagina. I wonder what her language. I mean, you cannot use different word except vagina, you idiot. And Maryam been to Amran since when Mary is the daughter of Amran. I, I forgot Muhammad, he said that Mary, she is the sister of Aaron. And yeah, according to the Torah, Mary, there's a woman, her name is Maryam. She is the sister of Aaron. She is the daughter of Amran or Amram, idiot Muhammad. So here we notice 
Allah himself, he breathed into her body. And you know what? Let's go for the sake of argument. He breathed not to her body. He breathed wherever he breathed. Now, are you saying to me that the breathe of Allah is going to come out of a vagina? I thought Allah is holy and his breath should be holy. Are you saying to me that the breath of Allah is dirty? It's okay. So if Allah, he breathed into Mary, so what he put in, he put breathing. What came out? Jesus. Where he came from? Vagina. You are making fun of Jesus for he is coming from the breathe of Allah from a vagina. Does mean your God, Allah breathed, is coming out of a vagina. Stupidity is amazing, garbage talk. They try to put Jesus down, but always they fail and they are stupid. In the top of that, you idiot. If we, for the sake of argument, says, yeah, okay, maybe you have a point there. So how your stupid Quran says in chapter 19, verse 19, that Jesus is holy, yet he is coming out of a vagina. So he's holy when you want, he is not when you want. Is that your Quran, your donkey? Not you, the other donkey. Ah, come on, you are big. You are a mule. Come on. He said, Nay, I am only messenger from the Lord to announce to you the, the, the gift of a holy son. Holy what? You must not believe that holy son is born of a vagina? I thought he cannot do that. So he's born of a vagina and he is not holy or he is holy. You see how stupid you are? And this is why you Muslims don't dare to debate me. Because the second you say it, you will get it. No mercy. Thank you all for being here. I appreciate all of you, your support. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you did not subscribe yet, you know, I mean, if you subscribe, don't forget to unsubscribe because Allah will double your blessing. It's a very fantastic way to do things, you know? Like you do scam. And then uh, you get donation. Allah will give you twice more reward like he will give you bad deed for subscribing uh, you know or for doing uh, something bad and then you let us say you go and steal some money uh, you steal like ten thousand dollars and then you give ten dollars to the mosque that is a great deed allah will double it so stealing the money was a bad deed one bad giving the ten dollars is two deeds so now you won like one delete one and that's what muhammad said so if you are a Muslim and you want to practice Islam, subscribe once and then unsubscribe. Allah will double your reward, brother. So you can keep doing this all day long and then you will go to heaven with a lot of reward. Have you ever heard of such a religion? Islam. Religion. What a religion. Thank you very much. And thank you for those who support us, who download the videos, who add subtitle, and those who keep asking me, add subtitle Tagalog. My friend, do you want me to add subtitle? I mean, isn't enough what I do? So you is a Tagalog person or Filipino and you are asking me to add Tagalog what about you do it yourself somebody told you I speak all languages somebody told you that I'm the same as Ali or Al Hassan who speak thousands of hundreds of languages and I cannot do that only Zaka and I can do that piece of him you know so download the video add subtitle translate it to your language let everybody see the truth and the truth will set you free and in the name of Jesus, we are always victorious. In the name of Jesus, we always defeat their lies. In the name of Jesus, we love them. We don't hate them. In the name of Jesus, we will bring them and we will save them from Islam. In the name of Muhammad, they will bring you with the chain around your neck like a slave, like a dog. That is the truth. And this is what Muhammad said. In the name of Muhammad, they will make you slave. In the name of Muhammad, they will bring you like a dog. In the name of Muhammad, they will put a chain around your neck and the hate in front of your eyes. And this is Sahih. They cannot say, it is weak. Here we go, Alabani. Do you see Alabani? Batato, the Alabani boy. It says, 
Hukmun Sahih Al Alabani. So now don't go and say this is weak. This is your faith. I, I challenge this coward to print this hadith and put it in the top of his boost in San Diego. Do you dare to do so? Print it and be a man. Stop covering yourself with the mask and hiding from the truth. I want you Muslims to put this in a billboard in every highway. But you are not brave to do so. You are ashamed of your prophet. So you try to show us what you think is good and appealing and you hide the truth for you are a coward and you don't dare to show the truth, but we dare. And guess what? It is Sahih by al -Abani. Thank you all. May the Lord bless you. Thank you for those who support us. Thank you for those who make a donation. And if you make a donation to Christian Prince, you will not go to heaven. I'm not Muhammad. Muhammad is scam, promise you. If you're going to donation, you go to heaven. That's why when they make a video, they say to you, brother, donate for us. Allah, he says, those who they know, you know, Allah will give you a corner lot in heaven. I don't promise you heaven. Only one who can promise you heaven is Jesus the Christ. Thank you for supporting us. But don't be a fool. Nobody can promise you heaven but the Lord himself. Heaven is not in the hand of a man, and especially not a filthy man like Muhammad. Thank you. God bless you. And until we see you again soon, this is your brother Christian Prince. Humbly, I appreciate you all. Pray for the Muslims. We get angry from their lies, but we will never hate them. Hate is a disease, and Allah is hateful, and he is sick and he's evil and we are fighting the evil of Allah Muslims are poor people they need our help the Messiah he says I came for the sick not for the healthy so we are bringing the Messiah to you so your sick lies will stop by his name we are victorious by his name we are saved not by a bishop not by a Christian prince not by a donation all those they lie to us if they say they can save you only one name that is the Messiah, who he said, which one is easier to say your sin is forgiven or to say carry your chair and go? That is my Lord. While Jesus was making the blind see, resurrecting people from death, walking in water, controlling nature, Muhammad was busy going after little girls. That is your Lord. What a shame. Thank you and see you soon.